Hello, and welcome to this move break session. This is great for if you've been sitting at your desk for hours on end, we just need to get some movement in. I'm glad you pressed play. Let's do this together. You can do it seated, or if you wanna be on the floor, you certainly could do that. I'm gonna do it from a chair as if I were sitting at a desk. So I invite you to come to the edge of your chair, or if you even wanna sit on the couch, that could work too. From here, we're just gonna start with some simple head um, nods and side to side motion. So just gentle movements here, find your breath, inhaling through the nose and out of that mouth. From here, I'll invite you to drop the chin and then bring it back up again. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Think about a nice tall posture here, shoulders down and back. You're nodding yes to having a great day today. Good, one more like that. And now we're gonna change it slightly by turning it to the side. So you're gonna go inhale, side, exhale back to center. Good, other way, inhale, exhale. And just notice where those tension spots are for you. Inhale, exhale, again. One more time, each side, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Bring it back to center, you're going to drop your right ear to your right shoulder, and feel that stretch along the side of the body. Now with the hands, you could add a little extra stretch here. You could also add a little bit of weight to the head, nothing too intense, now that you're like really pulling on it, but you're just adding the weight there. Now staying here, you could also grab onto the side of your chair if you'd like. Just turn your chin towards your shoulder and just feel the different stretch in your neck. It's a little bit towards the back. And now on the other side. So you drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And again, hands can be here. That one hand can be on the side there. And go to your degree of that stretch so there's, no, there's not any pain. You should just feel some tension there. Breathe. If you'd like, you can add that added weight of the hand on top. Ground through both hips. Staying there, or maybe just turn that chin just slightly towards the shoulder, getting that different stretch for the neck. There's a lot of tension in our neck that we really don't realize, I think, so it's good to release that, to breathe into it. On that next breath, the exhale, you'll release the hand, bring the head down through center, and bring it up to center. Good, just take some shoulder rolls here, up towards the ear and back down. We're gonna find some chest expansions next. Reverse the shoulder rolls. Good, just get nice and loose. Now from here, I'm gonna invite you to open up the arms nice and wide. And then from here, you're going to just fold over your knees. And then inhale, open. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, open. Find an expansion. Exhale, fold. One more here. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Bring it back to that chest expansion. Good, if you have room or you're coming to the edge of your seat, you can hold a nice chest stretch here, isometric. Hold, shoulders down and back. Breathe. You're just finding space in the front side of the body. A lot of times we're very closed off when you're seated, seated at a desk like so. This really opens up that front side of the body. Good, from here, inhale, reach those arms back up to a T. This time, the right hand's gonna come down to your side, the left arm's gonna come up and over, side body stretch. Inhale, exhale, watch that the shoulder doesn't hike up, or you lift this hip, really ground up and out. Now you can stay here, if you wanna go a little bit deeper into that stretch, you can take the hand to the outside of the chair and get a little bit more deeper stretch, pulling and reaching away opposite directions. Yes, now from here, you're gonna take that top arm, place it to the outside of the knee. Now you're in a spinal twist. Inhale, exhale. Just give me that twist a little bit further here. I'm actually utilizing that on the knee joint, but just like maybe on the thigh there, pressing against that to allow my upper back and shoulders to find that twist. And then certainly the low back. Good. From here, bring yourself back to center. Keep your hand there. We're just going to work some additional shoulder stretch here. So I just kind of find this half circle or so position. Just a few rotations to finish this side. One more. And bring it back. 
to center. Inhale, reach the arms back up to a T. This time, the right arm comes up and over, side body stretch. Left arm can grab the chair if you'd like, or maybe reaching down to that floor. Ground through that opposite right hip. Reach all the way through the fingertips, find length, staying here. Or maybe you're grabbing that outside that chair once again, finding a little deeper stretch as you pull and reach opposite directions. Inhale, exhale, find length in that side body. One more breath. On that exhale, you'll bring the hand up. Good. From here, we'll invite those arm circles. You're just going to bring your chest towards me, and then you'll just work that arm circle back and forward. Good. And inhale back. And exhale forward. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Just a few things here while we're seated. You're going to take that wrist stretch here, especially if you type a lot throughout the day. I'm just pressing the fingertips back, finding length for the wrist here, the bicep. Relax those shoulders down and back. Now from here, taking that same hand, I want you to grab for your wrist, kind of pull down on your wrist, and then just find some circles here. So there's tension there, kind of pulling down your skin a little bit, but that should feel really good. Some nice movements, just like the simplest movements that can feel so good from where you hold a lot of tension in your hands. They do a lot for us throughout the day. Good, shake it out. Let's try that other side. Press the fingertips back. Inhale, exhale. Always finding length, stretching from all the tension. Grab that wrist, kind of pull down a little bit. Circles one direction, circles the other. And then relax, release. Good. From here, we're going to work some chair kisses. So just squats just to get the body warmed up a little bit. And then we'll do some stretches standing. So hands can be here at heart center. As I stand, I'm going to press my hands back. Just get a little tricep engagement there. So as we exhale, we stand. Keep your knees in line with the toes. Exhale up, inhale, tap your glutes to the chair. Exhale up, inhale, tap. Good. Really press down through those heels as you stand. Warming up those thighs there. You got it. This can be done during maybe a meeting where you're off camera, on mute. <laughs> Good. Keep going. Four. Up. Three. Up. Two, good, give me one more. We'll stay standing. Nice job, good. From here, we're gonna come into a hamstring stretch. So if you have a, a chair that's not on wheels or if it is on wheels, be very mindful of that. I always go with bent knee first. I just kind of set myself up. You're gonna lengthen your leg, slight bend in that knee, and then hinge forward, finding that hamstring stretch. Now you can reach for the shin here if you'd like or the toe, whatever is accessible to you, just finding length in the back of the leg. Inhale, exhale, shoulders down and back, always thinking about that posture. Good. One more breath. As you exhale, you're just bending into your knee just for a second, you're still gonna stay here. I'm gonna come to the side, so I'm really thinking about pressing my arch of my foot or my inner part of my foot on the chair, and then I find a side body stretch. Reaching, my hand reaches for the shin. Now we're gonna just test out the balance and core a little bit as you stretch the opposite direction. Good, reach one way, reach the other. Again, that should feel really good to find that length in the side body. Good, one more this direction. And then hold it here, reach, reach, reach. And then gently come back up. You can grab that chair if you need for that balance. We are going to stretch the opposite quad. So we worked the inside leg there. Take the outside leg and take inner thighs together. And just stretch out the front side of the thighs. Shoulders down and back. One more breath. And relax, release. Good. Let's just get the other side to stay even. So again, you can bend in that knee first, hop yourself back, whatever you need to do. Find your hamstring stretch nice and tall, and then shift forward. Again, maybe this is good for you today. Maybe you're reaching a little bit closer to the shin or reaching for the toe. And then breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale. Good. 
on that last breath. Exhale. Good. A few more like that. Inhale, reach. Opposite direction. That's it. And again, if this doesn't serve you, you can just hold that side body stretch in isometric hold. Good. Come back to that first side and hold. Awesome. And then come up to standing position. Good. Release that foot. Take that quad stretch on the other side. We're going to finish with a few more of those chair kisses just to give it a little bit more heat to the body. And then we'll do a, a forward fold with a halfway lift just to get some full movement in there. All right. So coming back to the front of your seat, hip width distance apart, hands to heart center if you'd like. Inhale to lower. Exhale up. We have eight of them. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale, tap. Exhale up. If you like to do more, you certainly can. We got four more here. Four. Up. Three. Up. Two. Up. Last one. Awesome. Set to the side just one last time here. You can even push that chair over to the side. You will not need it. From here, you're going to take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive over, forward fold. Shake that head yes and now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, root to rise, press into those heels as you stand all the way to the top. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive over, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, root to rise, palms come to touch to heart center. There is your move, break, stretch. For the day, I hope you feel energized, refocused, and ready to take on the rest of your day. We'll see you next time.